Originally, Boston was named Shaman Peninsula. We acquired the name from our Native American tribes, the Algonquins. They settled here for well over a thousand years until they were joined in 1630. John Winthrop and a group of Puritans from England showed up. They changed the name from Shaman Peninsula to Boston. After Boston, England, that's how we go to name. Does anyone know why the Puritans came You'll from see. Trinity Episcopal Church? One of the top ten architectural buildings in America, built in 1877. Henry Hobson Richardson was the architect. They offer guided tours during the week, weekdays here. So the Puritans are... Check out the cobblestone type driveway with a carriage house in the back. What? This granite building is a Somerset Club. It's the oldest private club in Boston right there. They put lions on their front doors. On your right is a frog pond. We fill with water in the summertime. On warm days, children splash in and out to cool off. Then we rush them directly over to the Mass General Hospital after. In the winter, we freeze it. You get ice skate, music, lights, and boats. The original here. state house. They put the wings on each side over 100 years after. This is the heart of the peninsula right here. And this is a wonderful photo up on your right of the Robert Gould Shaw Memorial. During the Civil War, watch the movie Glory, Denzel Washington and Matthew Broderick. It was the first all-volunteer African-American regiment of the North and easily the nicest outdoor memorial in Massachusetts by far. The name is carved on the base. How beautiful is that memorial? And on your right, 122 Bowdoin Street, third floor used to be the legal residence of John F. Kennedy when he became our congressman in Boston. Our law enforcement memorial is a police badge on your left up there. Notice the gas lanterns. We used to have to light every single individual gas lantern every night, then put them out every morning. The labor was too much for that, so we have kept them lit 24 hours a day for years. That's unrealistic. Gas is expensive. We are going to install automatic shutoffs. We're going to start shutting it down during the daytime, and we're going to stop them. On your left, looks like luxurious condos, three-story outdoor gymnasium, beautiful landscaping. Each window has their own set of blinds. Wait a minute, those are bars. This is the Suffolk <laughs> County Jail. It's a holding facility. So they're innocent until... Sorry about these bumps on this section. The bumps are my fault. The bumps are the duck's fault. It's the asshole. Thank you very much for this is beautiful pedestrian walking bridge. Brand new. Saves a lot of time for our residents. Alright, we're going to convert this vehicle now into a vessel. Let's see. How does this work again? I'm going to engage our propeller on my left. Then we're going to blow the horn. Coast Guard regulations. Here we go. Welcome to the Charles River. There's two mirrors on the left side of the duck coming up. You can video yourself. Put the camera on top of your head, don't block your face, so here they come on your left, wait for it, wait, hold, wait, you go way up too, the way back, they're very friendly people. Take a picture now, take a video, take it, take it, take it out. Alright, welcome to the Charles River, this is where the river ends, we call this our lower basin, sea level, fresh water, Charles River was named after King Charles. Here come the geese on your right. Big cool, man. Big cool. Something's going down. The geese are on the move. Charles River starts in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, where the Boston Marathon starts. If you were to jog here from Hopkinton, it's about 26.2 miles. But if you were to canoe down the river from Hopkinton, it's 80 miles. This river's winding. Years ago, very bony. You see him? Right there. See him? The black crowned night heron in there? Or we'll see him on the way back. We'll get a better view of him. Those are black crowned night heron. It's in the heron family. Alright, we're going to head under the creek lock. Here comes Extreme Eddie Hair Time. He is a motorcycle jumper, hit a bus in Vegas. We hide him out of rehab. There he comes. Hair Time. We'll give him a clap. Never could ever. Extreme petty air time. He's not right. He doesn't allow what you need to talk about. Wow. Katia? Everyone say hi, Katia. 
And Katya, how old are you? Ten years old. And what uh, is your favorite subject in school? You like to study what? <laughs> World Cup, World Cup champs, maybe on error. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on the World Cup. All right. Let's hear it for Katia. Yep. All right, just give me one minute. All right, just hold on. Sit tight. i got to make a loop and cover a little bit of history. We'll get her in a minute. All right. 1908, the same year, and they've neglected the thing since we built it. It's costing us $260 million to save this unbelievably beautiful bridge. They don't make them like this anymore. It's a shame we've neglected it this long. These are Viking ships. Some suggest Vikings explore the area. That's 700 AD. I don't think they were here. So we've uh, put new lighting on top, wired new fiber optic cable underneath. Sam Lass and all the Mayo. Mayo. Yeah, that makes sense. The Mayo Clinic in Minnesota is the number one general hospital in America. We're number two. But Mass General has a first documented year to take the pain. However, there's a guy down in Georgia named Crawford Law used either before us, but he did not document it. He's the man, Crawford Law used either before he went in surgery. We have the first documented use. How many people believe Crawford used it? I do. I think he did it. How many people don't think he did it? How many people don't carry the way of Crawford used it? How many people have no idea what I'm talking about at this point in the tour? Me neither. Let's quack. Ever can ever? Quack, quack! Boston Duck Tours is privately owned. We started our company 20 years ago, uh, and we are celebrating our 20th anniversary. Very successful for a private company. So the owners like to give back to our community. We started a philanthropy program called Quack Quack Gives Back. When you buy tickets, we ask if you want to round your totals to the nearest dollar and donate change. Last year, our guests donated 20, uh, what, $33,000 in change last year, so we match it. 66000 was raised. Uh, this is my brother, Secret Ball Man's handshake. Black Law! I missed it, sorry. Uh, so this year we're at 16000 already, so it's 32000 this year. We split our money up to community voting for the summer sailing program for the kids, the Boston Public Library for the reading program for the kids, gets your change. I, we get it is not a penguin, Germany. I just don't want to think it's a penguin, but it, yeah, it's a heron. Thank you. A heron, black crowned knight heron, like the big great blue heron. On your right, let's see if he's here. He could be gone. Oh, there he is, on your right, right there. Oh, yeah, comes quick. He is right there. Oh, you familiar yeah. in New York with the heron? Oh yeah, it's a black heron. The great blue herons, my that's amazing, that bird's amazing. There's a cormorant on you, love the black birds, a cormorant. But let's talk about the ducks. This duck is uh, four months old. Brand new duck, $420,000 V8 diesel Ford International Turbo Engine. We're running biofuel to this duck. That's a diesel soybean mix. We're going green. However, out of the 30 ducks, we still have two authentic World War II amphibious landing crafts. World War II, we needed a vehicle that could bring supplies from the ships to the shorelines. We stormed the beach of Normandy D-Day with Higgins boats in France. Uh, they were built out of Louisiana. The front end shot, the gentlemen stormed the beaches. Once they secured the shores, the ducks and the Navy ships rolled off the ramps in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans up on the beaches to give soldiers ammo, medical supplies. They brought the wounded back to the ships of the ducks. And they're using the Korean War. Why do we call them ducks and people quack at us? The military acronym names were Duck W's, D-U-K-W. The D was for design in year 1942 to 45. They were built U for utility vehicle, K front wheel drive, W dual rear axle drive. The military acronym named Duck W's. Any veterans on board? And what branch are you in, Texas? Army. Army, what'd you do for the Army? Lots of stuff, oh, very secret. Cadaver, cadaver, quack, quack! <laughs> Uh, were you active in any of our conflicts at all? Bender? Full wheel drive. There it is. Now the tires are spinning. Pushed by a propeller. Turned by a rudder. Our goal, making it up the ramp, 15 for 31 this season. Shut the marine radio. We don't need that anymore. Shut the nav 
lights, headlights go on. You can get a picture of yourself in the mirror, video it maybe, video yourself going by the mirrors coming up on your Really cool. Our New England Aquarium is down here. They got a water uh, sprinkler system for the kids. Right a carousel. Right here, July 18, 1776. After they read it, the rebels climbed up on the roof and tore down the lion and the unicorn, symbols of the British rule. There's uh, replicas up there today. The original lion and the unicorn, they torched them with a big bonfire in celebration. They had hot dogs, some more, Sam Adams, Neil Diamond. It was awesome. Every 4th of July, we do rubber tree paint. Ben Franco's parents are in here. Paul Revere, Elizabeth Vargoose, which is... It's about a 30 minute walk to the right here from our dump shop. Here you take the Green Night subway, take uh, the Green Line, get off at Park Street to get here. Brooks Brothers. And coming up on here, right? Church of the Covenant right here. It's our state stone again, Rock Creek Pudding Stone. The guy in the green shirt, are you from, where are you from?